So this is the skills practice number 42. For number one, it's saying that based off the relationship of the change in moles of the last column, we should be able to figure out the change in moles of all the other ones. And because we have the reaction and the coefficients that are involved, here there's a one and here there's a one. Because we have all the information here, we should be able to figure out the change in and therefore the numbers for everything. So let's do zero to 200 time first. The change between these two is 0 0.0021. So the coefficient for I, the ion for iodine is one and for HSO4 minus it is three. So that means the change in is gonna be three times as much. And remember that the products, the change goes up and the reactants, the change goes down. So for HSO4, it should just be three times 0 0.0021 or 0 0.0063. For IO3 minus, because it has the same coefficient, the change in should be the same. And remember that because this is a reactant, it's going down. So it would be 0 0.01105 minus 0 0.0021. And that should give you 0 0.0084. And then the same for HSO3 minus, but instead of 0 0.0021, it would be 0 0.0021 times 3. And then you would subtract that number from 0 0.0357. So it would be 0 0.0294. And you would do the same for all of these. So for the next one, the change here is 0 0.0011. And for this one, the change is 0 0.0007. So let me fill out the table. And that is how the table should be filled out. So for number two, it's asking for the average rate of formation of I minus between those three different amounts of seconds. Now you have to remember that the units are molarity per second, but on that table, they gave us moles. So we can calculate the change in moles between 0 and 200, which is 0 0.0021. And based off of the information they gave us, we have a volume of 0.45 liters. If we go to 1 liter, we should get a molarity of 0 0.0046. And because this is moles per one liter, the amount of moles is the actual molarity. So what we're doing is putting the molarity divided by the change in seconds. In this case, 200 seconds have elapsed. And this should give you 2.33 e to the negative 5 molarity per second. And you're doing the same calculations with the different numbers for the amount of moles that were changed and you would find out what that molarity change is based off of the fact that it is 0.45 liters and it stays 0.45 because it's the same problem and we should get for B 1.22 e to the negative 5 molarity per second and for C 7.7 .7 e to the negative 6 molarity per second and for question number three, when it says if the rate of disappearance of HSO3 minus was 0 0.0045 molarity per second, can you calculate the appearance of I minus? So we figured out from our ChemQuest 42 that there's a correlation there. And the correlation is dependent upon the coefficients. So the coefficients of, three, of HSO3 minus was 3 and of I minus was 1. So there should be a 3 to 1 ratio here. So if it's 0 0.0045 and there's a 3 to 1 ratio, all we're doing is dividing that by 3 to get us what the rate of appearance of I minus is. And that should give you 0 0.0015 molarity per second.